All right, so I just saw Infinity War and I saw that gauntlet and I was like, I, I have to have one of those. So I went on eBay and I found, it's like a cheap knockoff version of it, but it says it still has a reasonable amount of power. This is an empty wine bottle. Let's see if it works. Whoa, I love this thing. <laughs> Hey everybody, so this thing worked, that's awesome. So today I'm gonna to be doing a rosé. It is the number five by, or number five JCB by Jean-Charles Boisset. It's a Coast de Provence, and it is a 2016, 12.5% alcohol by volume, and I paid $10 for it at my local grocery store. So first of all, it doesn't have a screw top, unfortunately. Maybe I can snap my fingers and make that happen. But let's get to the tasting. So this is already a light rosé. And this is a light rosé. It is, man, it's really light. Um, it, there's just a shade of pink to it, just a little bit. It's almost the color of water. I mean, it's it's really, really light. You get a lot of it when it's here, but when you're looking at the sample in the glass, there's really not much to it at all. So it's just a very, very light pink. Uh, no cloudiness, no artifacts, so that's nice. From a nose standpoint, it actually, it's gonna sound weird, but it smells like a little bit like bread. Um, I'm getting what is kind of like a red apple. Red apple, maybe like hint of strawberry, but I'm getting kind of like a yeasty note to it, almost like, like kind of sudden like a bread. So let's try it from a taste standpoint. Okay, so it um, it does have a bit of a pungent note to it in terms of uh, bitterness and sourness on the end. Um, and the finish, up front, I'm getting a lot of red apple and a hint of that strawberry. But that kind of bready, yeasty note is kind of going all the way through. It has a pretty much like a half second finish. It's pretty much clean. Yeah, um, let's see, so from a, a rating standpoint, I'm going to give you an okay. You're not bad, you're really heavy on that apple, you're just really heavy on the apple. If it had been balanced out with more flavors, maybe a little less acid, a little bit more body, because it is a little bit watery. Um, I'd probably rate you a good, but I'm going to stick with okay. I'm not going to pour you down the drain, but you're not going to write home about. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine All the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the JCP Vintage number five, or Vintage 2016 number five? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. Mm. You're still here. Awesome. So uh, now that you're here and you're still here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps me out, lets me know that you're still interested in the video. Also, take a look at this video right here. YouTube says you're going to like it. I wonder what happens when I do this.